What's good, Coach Colin Castella here, and today we're gonna go over your beginner's guide to shooting the basketball. So a big thing you need to think about as a beginner is your foundation or the base of your feet because that's really kind of the beginning of the jump shot and that's the part that if it's messed up, everything else to follow will be a chain reaction, will probably be messed up as well. So we really wanna get that foundation locked in because that kind of really sets up the rest of the shot. So the very first thing we wanna think about is the width of our feet. A lot of times coaches say shoulder width apart and kids get like, you know, maybe a little bit bigger than shoulder width. And this actually isn't best to generate power if we're about this wide. If you watch the best shooters in the world, guys like Steph Curry, Kevin Durant, among others, most all of them have a narrower base that's somewhere, you know, just inside shoulder width. And the reason is it's more maximizing of power and it gets them more pop into their jump shot, right? And so what you wanna do is you wanna just find your natural base by just kinda of doing a one-two step in like you're trying to jump as high as you can. That's probably about where you want your feet to be. So number one, we want our base a little bit narrower than you probably think. Number two, we want to think about having our feet slightly tilted. So back in the day, coaches used to always say, hey, square to the hoop. So if I was shooting on the three-point line, both my feet would be right on the three-point line facing towards the hoop. That's actually going to cause a lot of problems up the chain in your shot. So most great shooters actually tilt their feet slightly. So they're just off to the side, but their dominant foot is now slightly in front. That's gonna unlock tension in your shoulders, it's gonna make for a more fluid release, and you're also gonna get power. So if you're a beginner, you wanna start shooting this way early because then those reps are gonna stack up like Lego blocks over time. The final thing you wanna think about your base is on the release, we call it a sweep. Basically meaning when you shoot, you don't wanna jump and land in the same spot. A lot of coaches will say this is because of balance and you wanna do it, it's simply not true. If you watch the best shooters in the world, they all sweep their feet forward and land closer to the hoop than where they started. And because of this, they get more momentum, more power, and more fluidity in their jump shot. So what you wanna do is anytime you shoot, you wanna to try to land closer to the basket than where you started, and just slightly. You don't need to make it a big one, but this is gonna help you out a ton to get started. Another massively important thing for beginning shooters, and this is probably the thing that I see the most over and over again that gets screwed up by coaches, is what I call a four X load, or a four times load. Basically meaning you wanna load four different things all at the same time and explode those four things all at the same time. And those four things are basically just three joints, ankles, knees, and hips, right? I want all three to load together, all three to fire together. But the fourth one is crucial. The fourth load point is the basketball. So as I'm loading those knees and hips and they're going down, I want the basketball to be loading at the same time and essentially crunching down to kind of the shot pocket area just above the knee somewhere in here, right? It could be kind of towards the middle of your body, that's okay. But I want it to crunch down. I always like to think about our body and the ball like a giant spring. We've got to load the spring to explode the screen, spring. A big mistake that a lot of players make is as they're getting ready to shoot, they get this three times load, that's great, but as the ball comes up as they load, so instead of going down with the body, the ball goes up with the body and it freezes right here as the rest of the body fires and then you lose a ton of that upward momentum and power, almost like an uppercut punch, right? So really think about the ball's gotta load with those three joints. Now a pro tip that'll help you even more. A lot of times players get really good load in their ankles and their knees, right? That's easy, they bend at the same time. But their hips are where most of the power actually comes from and a lot of players have their chest up like this towards the basket and so they don't actually get their hips loaded. So think about as I load the ball, I want my chest to follow the basketball down and that will get better load in my hips. That way I'll get a lot more spring and pop into my jump shot and you'll instantly add more distance on and range onto your shot. And this is where a lot of kids get mistakes because if they don't have enough range to shoot, that's where a bunch of the other wonky mechanics come in. So try 4X load and it'll help you out a ton. All right, so we're basically two thirds of the way there. We've got our foundation or our base, how we're starting. We got our 4X load to kind of make sure we're getting prepped for our shot. And the final piece is what we call the release. Now there's a few kind of main keys to think about on the release. And that's basically the ball's coming out of your hand and finishing towards the basket, right? The first thing I always like to talk about is what I call a single finger release. Meaning that one of your two fingers, either your pointer or your middle finger, is gonna be the last to touch the ball and snap it on its journey towards the basket. So what a lot of kids mess up is that when they're getting ready to shoot off that finger, whatever it is, is that finger's not in the center of the ball. So let's say I'm shooting off the middle finger. If my middle finger's not in the center of the ball and I'm bringing it up like this and I snap, it's automatically gonna be out of alignment. It's gonna push off to the side as it goes to the basket. So the big key here is we wanna make sure that whichever finger we're using is going up and with snapping directly under the basketball and going straight down towards the hoop. Another piece here is to only finish with one finger down. A lot of times we're told when we're young, hey, we wanna have a gooseneck or a hand in the cookie jar. And we wanna put all of our fingers down like this towards the bat or down towards the ground. 
What that does is it creates a ton of wrist tension, and a lot of times you don't actually get that great of a snap on the basketball. If you watch in hyper slow motion the best shooters, most all of them take one finger and finish it down and the other three fingers up, something kind of like this, right? This would be a pointer finger finish, this would be a middle finger finish, So, right? So think about being nice and floppy on your snap and having just that one finger finish towards the ground. If you can do that, it will help you out a ton, especially get that nice, like last little snap for perfect rotation on the basketball. Another piece on your release is to ensure that you're finishing with your shooting elbow above your eye line. So if we drew a straight line out from my eyes, I want my shooting elbow to break that line and finish high. That way we're gonna get a better arc towards the hoop. So a lot of shooters, when they shoot, they push the ball out like this. And because it's flat, the ball sees a smaller target area. Mathematically, it has a lower percentage chance of going in, right? So if you're a beginner shooter, really think about as you're bringing the ball up, try to get your palm underneath the basketball as soon as you can, because that's gonna help you finish up rather than out, right? A lot of players, when they go to shoot, they keep their hand behind the ball and they don't really get it rotated under. And because of that, it turns into this push rather than this push, right? So think about scooping it up so your palm gets underneath the basketball and getting your elbow above your eye and that'll help you maximize your arc. All right, if you wanna shoot like a pro, you gotta train like a pro. So click the top link in the description down below and get instant access to the pro shooting pack brought to you by our guys at Pro Class. Now you can work out with some of the best shooters in the world, guys like Chris Paul, Damian Lillard, CJ McCollum, just to name a few, to ensure that you're getting your jumper on point. And also, if you're new to Shot Mechanics, hit that subscribe button, ding the bell notification, because we're bringing the best videos on the internet to help you get better that you're not gonna wanna miss. Again, I'm Coach Colin Castella, and until next time, splash on. Buckets! Aye.